Welcome to Crystal Wednesday with Patrick. Once again, we're going to have a little class on crystals, and the crystal today I want to talk about and, and show you is uh, it's a form of calcite. Like calcite is known as a world teacher, facilitating macrocosmic awareness and appreciation of the creative forces of nature. Calcite, the world teacher. So the calcite I want to talk about today is zebra calcite. And as you can see, these are beautiful. This specimen here, uh, see the lines in it and stripes? This almost looks like a zebra. And it, it's a, a beautiful stone. And then these uh, other formations, it all has to do with the minerals where this comes from. But we see the bands are bigger. So here's a black band, a, a, a gold band, black gold, and then all the way to white at the top. And I'm going to share about that in a minute. But they're beautiful specimens. And um, uh, what it is is zebra calcite exhibits endless transformational energies. Okay, And this is kind of a relatively uh, new crystal that's been found in Mexico in the past uh, several years. And I think I've been carrying it for two or three years. And I love it. And I can't keep enough of it in. People love it also. OK, so uh, one thing, the word that we want to use with uh, zebra calcite is transformational. When you work with a, a zebra calcite, it works in, in transforming all aspects of your life. <clears throat> all aspects of your life your physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, the manifestation uh, becomes clearer when we start working with the uh, zebra calcite. And what happens is with the uh, zebra calcite, when you start working with it, it works on, it begins working on your emotional body. We know how important our emotional body is because it's really going to color all of our experiences, good, bad, or indifferent. So what happens is, as it starts on the emotional body, it starts raising the energies that we have suppressed uh, or stuffed, you know, or ignored or neglected, and all these uh, feelings and emotions begin to come up. And this is a good thing. When they come up, we can become aware of them. And then as we become aware of them, we can understand that they are not for our highest and best good, and we can begin to alter them, i.e. transmute, i.e. remove, replace with new uh, energies, consciousness, thoughts, beliefs, or patterns. And so uh, when we can see something, we can address it, acknowledge it, and then change it. And this is what uh, we're being asked to do because we have to consciously participate in our life. Uh, these negative experiences or emotions that we're holding on to um, are really not a part of who we are. And what they do is they mask, reflect, uh, or even limit our true essence, our true spirituality, our true light. And so as we begin to use this, uh, it's a real powerful stone to, to clear that subconscious uh, body aspect of consciousness. And even like, I think this is a really cool picture right here. And so we could look at this black or this dark pot and look at that as the subconscious realm. Okay. And then as the energies are lifted up, they're brought into the light a little bit more so we can understand uh, some of the negative emotions or feelings that we're having. Okay. I'm aware of that. Doesn't make me happy. I want to release it. So we brought light to it. And then you can see these few lines of the darkness, it's in the process of being transmuted, it comes up again, we see it again, look at it again, and then we get to the top, we've got the white at the top. It's been cleared. It's a, a beautiful pictorial in the mineral kingdom to show us how we can lift the energies, how we can transmute the energies as it's coming through and then we get the light clear. And that clarity, that light is our true essence. That's who we are, we are the light. And so as we begin to become aware of who we aren't and that which doesn't serve us, we can begin to embrace and manifest who we are and what we seek to experience in life. And as we begin to uh, meditate with the uh, zebra quartz 
uh, it continues our healing on all levels once again. And what happens is we are reminded of our capabilities, all that we can do. Uh, we begin to become aware of our true potential and potentialities. And it can really be awesome to allow the user to grasp the concept of being the creator of their own universe. Grasp the concept of being the creator in your own universe. So I would say, meditate with zebra calcite, manifest with zebra uh, calcite, and be blessed by this energy that Mother Earth and God has given us to support us in our walk. Once again, Reiki Wednesday at InterQuest Church, Crystal Wednesday at InterQuest Church, live performance here. Crystal Wednesday at InterQuest Church, glad you came, glad you're sharing. Thank you for the feedback, I love it, and come see us sometime. We're in Alpharetta, Georgia. Thank you.